Hello everyone, it's Mr. Wassman, and today I'm here to give you a reminder. You are an expert in multiplication. How do I know that? Well, you're probably a fourth grader, and if you are a fourth grader uh, listening to this video from Unit 7, that means you're about three-fourths of the way into your fourth grade year uh, with fifth grade in the uh, horizon coming up really fast, which means you have had a lot of experience multiplying numbers up to this point. So when you are presented with an assignment like multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers, even though you may have never done that before, you know what to do. Okay? I'll give you an example. Let's say for, for example, I asked you to multiply, say, 67 times 8. Now most of you would look at that problem not even bad an eyelash because you see that 67 is really just 6 tens and 7 ones. And if you use the partial product uh, approach, like I'm doing right now, you would break that problem down by multiplying each part of 67 by 8. And of course, 60 is just 6 tens. So if I know that 6 times 8 is 48, I could just add an extra 0, making 48, 48 tens, otherwise known as 480. And then I'm going to multiply 7 times 8, which of course is 56. And then when I add those two amounts together, I get my total, 536. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So, what does that have to do with mixed numbers? Well, what is a mixed number? Well, a mixed number is just a combination of a whole number and a fraction. Two different place values, just like the number 67. 67 was 6 tens and 7 ones. In this first problem about gifts being sent by Michelle's grandmother, we have a mixed number that is one and a half, representing one and a half pounds. What is one and a half? Well, it's just one and a half combined in a convenient package. So when we go to break down this problem, we're going to look at one and a half in the same way that we looked at 67. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's actually read this story problem. It says, Michelle's grandmother sent her five small gifts for her fifth birthday. Oh, there's a theme there. Each one weighed a pound and a half, or one and a half pounds. How much did the gifts weigh all together? Okay, now, typically when I approach a, a number story problem, I use that ruckus strategy. I reread, I underline the problem, I circle the important information, I come up with an action plan, and I solve. Well, I was kind of doing that as I was going. So Michelle's grandmother sent her five small gifts for her fifth birthday. Each one weighed one and a half pounds. Okay. How much did the gifts weigh all together? Well, I already underlined the question, and I circled the two key pieces of information we need. And I know what my action plan is going to be because the title of this assessment or this uh, assignment is multiplying mixed numbers. Okay, so I know I'm going to multiply mixed numbers. And I'm going to multiply 5 times 1 and a half. And we'll say equals G for gifts. Now, let's look at this uh, problem again 67 times 8. I'm going to approach my problem for number one in the same way. I'm going to multiply one and a half times five. And what will that look like? Well, I'm going to break down one and a half into two parts. One and a half. And I'm going to multiply each part by five. Now, one times five is, of course, five. One half times five, as we learned in the last couple of lessons, is going to be five halves because when we multiply a fraction times a whole number, all we're multiplying is the numerator, that top number. So one half times five gives me five halves. Now five halves is not a convenient number, so we need to convert that to a mixed number itself. Okay, and how do we do that? Well, if you remember from our last lesson, I can find a mixed number when given an improper fraction by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Okay, how many groups of two can I get out of five? Well, that would be two groups 
with one left over, otherwise known as two and a half. So five halves is the same as saying two halves. So how do I go about figuring out the product of one and a half times five? Well, all I have to do here is I add five plus two and a half. The product of one times five and the product of one half times five. And you can probably already see the answer just by me setting up the problem. Five plus two and a half is going to give me seven and a half. And that, my friends, is it. That's how you multiply mixed numbers by whole numbers. You have to look at the mixed number as a combination or a, a number that has more than one place value. So Michelle's grandmother sent the equivalent of seven and a half pounds of gifts because she sent the combination of five pounds, five times one, and two and a half pounds, which is one half times five, combined together. Okay? So when you look at these story problems, okay, and you think about the mixed numbers, what you need to do is think about what is the mixed number made of, okay? What is four and five sixths? Well, 4 and 5 6 is simply 4 and 5 6. That's it. So, if I want to know what 3 times 4 and 5 6 is, I need to basically multiply 3 times 4 and then add that product to 5 times 6 times 3. Okay? 3 times 4, 3 times 5, 6, okay? So, breaking that problem down and then adding the products together. That's how I would solve any mixed number multiplication problem with a whole number, okay? Does that make sense to you? If it does, great. Log off this YouTube video and continue to work on your home links. If you're still scratching your head thinking, I don't know, it seems a little tricky, well, that's when you know to talk to your math teacher, okay? If they ask you, does anybody have any questions, that's your cue. You know what? There might be more than one kid in your class thinking the same thing you are. Hey, I don't quite know how to do this. And if you are brave enough to raise your hand or shoot uh, that inbox message in that Canvas uh, uh, app or send your, your, your teacher an email you might be helping out more than one uh, classmate because you were brave enough to ask the question first. Sometimes it just takes one person to uh, admit that, hey, I'm still a little confused, and that helps a number of people around you. So ask questions. doesn't hurt. Well, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you, uh, it steers you in the right direction uh, to get your home links completed. Until we talk again, friends, good luck and have a good day. Thanks.